Yeah. Can you guess what this video is about? Okay, first off, I'm a big fan of good packaging. I mean, if I'm gonna spend money on gear, I want the packaging that the gear comes in to be of good quality. It kind of gives me a sense that I spent my money wisely when the packaging is nice. And the Switch Pod is no exception. The packaging on this product is amazing. It's made out of good, hard, thick cardboard. It doesn't feel cheap. It's got really cool magnets that, that kind of keep the lid shut. At least, I think they're magnets. It's got nice print on the back showing you some of the key features of the switch pod. It says that it's made or designed in San Diego, which is awesome because I'm in San Diego. So overall, the packaging is really nice. It's high quality and it gives you a sense that you didn't buy some cheap product. This is gonna be a long lasting, durable product. The backside of the package, like I mentioned, highlights some of the key features about the switch pod. It quickly attaches to any camera or ball head adapter with the tightening knob. It has finger grooves that make it easy to hold and is crafted out of lightweight aluminum. And switch between handheld and tripod modes in seconds, non-slip feet to hold it in place. Now that we've taken a look at the packaging, let's open it up and check out the switch pod. So one of the first things you notice when you open up the packaging on the switch pod is it highlights that it's made by creators for creators and for tips and tricks, you can go visit switchpod.co slash start. As you would expect, the inside of the packaging is just as high quality as the outside of the packaging. It's got this felt foam that holds the switch pod in there nicely, nice and tight, keeping it protected from getting any scratches. And the bottom is yellow, which really highlights the cutouts on the switch pod. So let's take this thing out and check it out. Well, first impression is this thing is insanely light. I mean, being all aluminum, I was expecting it to feel at least a little heavier. I mean, it, it's almost to the point that it's it's so light that it, it feels cheap, but by no means is it a cheap product. I mean, you can tell that this thing is durable. It's, it's gonna take a beating and it's all aluminum. I mean, I, I thought the ball head right here, this little twist thing where you can twist on the camera or a ball head, I thought that would be plastic, but everything's aluminum. I mean, this is high quality and yeah, it's, it's insanely light. Let's talk about some of the key features that I really like about this and look forward to trying out. The Switch Pod has a lot of cool features, but the one I like the most is the grooves that are cut out in the handle because your fingers just fit just perfect. And so it feels really good in the hand. You know, you're so used to using a Joby Gorilla Pod, which isn't really made for vlogging. I mean, look at, look at the difference. I mean, this is super thin, feels really good in your hand, and I can't even wrap my whole hand around the Gorilla Pod. So yeah, it feels amazing in your hand. Another key feature that I really like is that it's got these quarter 20 holes. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's got these quarter 20 holes. So you don't have to buy any additional, I mean, if you already got friction arms, you don't need to buy additional things to, to hook attachments onto the, onto the switch pod. I mean, where you would have to buy different Joby products to be able to, to put different arms on here, to put lights or a microphone or whatever. This already has the quarter 20 holes. So you can, I mean, it's got it on all three of them too. So you can screw on friction arms and put a light on there, put a microphone, whatever you want, want to do. So that's really nice. Let's now talk about the feature that everybody loves about the switch pod. The fact that you can go from, you know, YouTube vlog style to tripod mode in seconds. That was always a downside with the Gorilla Pod. The Grill Pod, I mean, it's heavy. So if you're already holding a heavy camera, that just adds to the weight. But, you know, you got all these arms that you would have to like get just right after, you know, you're in vlog mode to get it into tripod mode. And then you'd have to adjust the ball head to get it level. Whereas this, 
I mean, seconds. Super easy. You can be vlogging and then tripod mode. I'll try to zoom in on the overhead rig, but I'm not sure if you can see this. It's also got these little pads that keep it from slipping. So you don't have to worry about the aluminum being on any surface and sliding around. I mean, it's gonna, it's not gonna slide anywhere when you got a camera on there and some weight holding it down. So that's really nice. One thing I did notice when I was taking out of the package is one of these kind of came off. The only thing that's holding them down is, is like some sticky glue substance. So if they fall off, you're gonna have to just put some glue on there. But yeah, that's really nice. Also correction, now that I'm messing around with this thing, even though it's got holes in all three legs, only two of them are quarter 20 mounts. So you only got two uh, quarter 20 mounts, but you shouldn't need any more than two. For those of you that enjoy hearing specs, I'll go ahead and put them on the screen, but I'll also read them off for you. The SwitchPod weighs in at only 11.1 ounces. That's 315 grams. In comparison, the Joby 5K GorillaPod with the ball head weighs 1.69 pounds, which is I think 739 grams. So that's a big difference. I mean, the SwitchPod is really, really light compared to the Joby uh, 5K GorillaPod kit. It's made of aluminum. The length of the entire switch pod when collapsed is 11 inches long. The size of the handle is 1.5 inches deep by three quarters of an inch wide. The size uh, when it's in tripod mode is 9.75 inches tall by 9.75 inch, inches wide. Of course, it's black in color and it's got two quarter 20 threads uh, for any accessories. It's got a really nice circle pad to protect the base of the camera that you're putting on there. My overall thoughts about the SwitchPod is, it's pretty awesome. I mean, I know it's only a tripod, but they put a lot of thought into this thing. I like the fact that it's got all these cutouts on the aluminum handle. It feels really good in your hand. The lighter the camera is, the, the lower you can hold it. If it's a real heavy camera and you wanna choke up on the handle, it's even got cutouts up top, so you can do that. I mean, it's about the size of the Joby GorillaPod 3K in, in size, like in length, but it's as sturdy as the 5K and a lot smaller when in your camera bag. And man, I just can't get over how light this thing is. It's just so light. The only thing, the, the one thing I do not like about the SwitchPod is the fact that it doesn't come with a ball head, that you gotta use your own ball head. I mean, you can, there's a ton out there. You can get them super cheap on Amazon. I'll link one below. I'll probably just take the ball head off the Gorilla Pod 5K because I really like this ball head and just put it on here. But yeah, overall, the SwitchPod is an amazing tool to add to your gear kit. It's not gonna take up a lot of room in your backpack. It's a lot thinner than those Gorilla Pods. And if you vlog a lot, you can go from vlog mode to tripod mode in a matter of seconds. I mean, a lot quicker than you could with any Joby Gorilla Pod with it. It's the 3K or 5K. Oh, one last thing, I totally forgot. If you're wondering how it stays closed, it's got magnets in the handle that, you know, keep aluminum closed so you don't have to worry about, check that out. You don't have to worry about, about it opening on its own. That's, that's really nice. Well guys, that's it. That's my unboxing and first impressions of the SwitchPod. If you wanna check it out, I'll link it down in the description of the video. But hey, if you found this video helpful and you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any videos in the future and I'll see you then. Fingers fit just nicely, so it feels just amazingly, amazingly. Yeah, I gotta practice that.